presentation, we will examine the calorimetry experiment that's available online as a simulation. So when you pull up the simulation, you can hit experiment and you can either run a demonstration or run the experiment. We're just going to go ahead and run the experiment. And what we will see is um, on the left here, we have a container, a beaker, and we can actually put some uh, some component, some object in the beaker. And we're going to choose a solid. So I'm going to click on the solid and then I'm going to choose a particular solid. So I'm actually going to just use the unknown metal for this example. And then I can go ahead and I can adjust the mass to a specific value, a specific value, and it goes in increments of 0.5. So I'm just going to put it at 32.5. And I can also adjust the temperature. So this will tell me the initial temperature of my substance. Once I have my substance set, I can hit next and it takes me over here to the calorimeter. So in the calorimeter, I can um, have different substances. I actually want to have a liquid and specifically I want to have water and I can adjust the amount of water that I have in that container. I'm going to put it at 160 grams. The temperature of the water um, is not adjustable, so it's going to just be 20 degrees Celsius. I can go ahead and hit next, and then I can run the experiment. Before I run the experiment, I'm going to hit the show graph, and I'm going to show um, the microscopic view of the metal and the water. And so once I hit start, the metal will go into the calorimeter and we can see what happens. Um, the metal is obviously at a higher temperature, it's vibrating more, water less, and then we have a graph at the top that shows what happens to the temperature of the substance. The temperature drops and we can see what happens to the temperature of the water. It rises, although it rises a very small amount. Eventually the simulation will stop and we have the final equilibrium temperature of the mixture of the substance, the metal in this case, and or the unknown material. I guess we don't know that it's a metal. So the unknown material and the water and it's the equilibrium temperature is 22.59 degrees Celsius.